Hi and welcome guys to yet a new video and we've got something special for today's video. We actually got a package from the US and that's from FedEx Customs that Thomas made custom for my G. He hooked me up with something really really cool and we're gonna open the package up from the US. And he hooked me up with the uh, trunk weather strip, uh, the rubber seal that we have in the back because mine is not that good anymore and I'm going to show you why. So that's the trunk weather seal and it just looks a little bit dirty but mine is really really bad and on a show car like this you don't want it to be cracked and like this i'm missing a piece so it's all worn up so i can actually break that off if i want to and just its condition yes we've polished this up really really much but still i have some cracks and it's just gray and dull so hopefully i can manage to get this really really nice looking oem and new and fresh so thomas Really really big thank you for hooking me up with this one. He got this for me I cleaned it up now and now I'm gonna shoot it with the plastic detailer from Sonax and I'm usually using a brush So what I do is just briefly go over with the plastic detailer and then I'm rubbing it in getting everything soaked as good as I can and uh, then I'm gonna let it dry or let it be on the surface for 10-15 minutes or something so now the rubber seal has been laying down for I guess 10 minutes uh, of this plastic detailer now I'm just taking my microfiber cloth and just like once again trying to work it in into the, the rubber so it gets a little bit fat on the surface get all the residue off the um, the seal and turning over to the trunk setup I'm gonna get rid of the old one so yet again I really appreciate you sending me this but let's get the old rubber out and fit the new one I know on video maybe this looks really really good but as I told you I have some really nasty nasty uh, rips in the rubber I don't want to use this anymore I'm gonna still keep it if anything happens in the future but this one looks really really good and you have a cross reference here and then let's hit down I can even feel the difference that the rubber seal is sticking really really good onto the onto the sides you can even hear it, it really sticks onto that. So I think my old rubber seal was really, really badly gone. It was old and crusty, didn't want to be here. And yes, I would say this is a success. It fits perfectly. A huge thank you, man. Just getting secondhand parts in Sweden for these kind of cars. It's not that easy. And wow. Yeah, small things can make a big difference. For everyone that's been following my channel, you guys know that I, I actually collect stickers on my paint booth. So these are the, I guess the partners that I've been working with for a long time or during all the years. And of course his sticker has to be on the paint booth. This is tradition, as you can see. <laughs> All the rest of the partners let's put the fitted customs logo up on the paint booth and of course i put a cricket on come on your one-handed skills there we go fitted customs thomas thanks for the weather seal and now over to the real thing let's move over to what he did custom for my car and over to the part that I'm dying to pack up. Thomas, I'm really, really excited. So this is a custom air tray delete that I can, you can put in your G. 
he does it for a big variety of cars, not only G's and uh, Nissan's. He does it for other cars also. So the great thing with this is this is going to be with voltage. So and this is connected to the Tesla head unit screen that I have. And then this is for a USB charger. And I guess that's USB-C ports. That's really, really good because that's what I have. And he made something else really, really cool. These plastic rings here, they light up with RGBs. So they're going to fit perfect for the interior on the car. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, dismantle these and I'm going to paint this in the same uh, theme that I already have in the car. He, um, he also does these uh, in carbon fiber, but I have a lot of carbon fiber on my car, you know that, but I don't have carbon fiber on the inside because I matched it with the color code. So the black with the green pearl. And if you look inside my car, I have the black and the green pearl and that's the ashtray. So we're gonna put that into the car. And, but before we put it in the car, we're gonna paint match it. So I'm gonna paint it up in the black and the green pearl. So I think this is some 3D pl printed plastic. So I'm gonna sand it down. I'm gonna uh, put primer on it. Then I'm gonna sand down the primer and then paint it. But I guess you can follow along in this video and then we can install it and see how cool it is. But I think before I'm gonna strip it down for a sanding. I'm actually gonna try out the lights I put in to it because I think I wanna see that first. Here you can see the options that I chose. It was the voltage, I wanna have a control over that. And then of course the USB for the uh, Tesla head, uh, Tesla slide head unit. And then I have a USB charger, a USB-C ports, and all this gonna light up. So this is how he fabricated, I think this frame is 3D printed. He uh, put in some RGB lights and then we have the connectors and the perfect thing with fitted customs is that he actually provides you with everything that you have to uh installing this into your car it's amazing thanks thomas really really good QR codes for uh the uh, app that you need the dongle you need to power the rgb lights and then of course you have the power connection for everything that you need so I guess guys this is really simple uh, you need a positive and a negative you're gonna uh, connect that for both these connectors and then of course that's for the RGB and um, this is the dongle for the RGB uh, yeah <laughs> red is power and black is earth you know how it goes so let's connect this and What I did, I was putting positive and negative, and you can actually see that it is marks that says positive and negative. It's the same for the voltage, negative, positive. I put the um, for the voltage, I put the um, the thicker cables, and then of course we have the RGB connection. So that's also positive and negative. I put everything onto the same cables and so I put them together. I have a fuse for the uh, voltage meter but uh, since I put every cable together so I have three positive cables on this one and three negatives on this one I'm gonna put a fuse in between this one and the meeting cable just to ensure uh, that nothing happens. Uh, so it's really good if you have good earth connection and a fuse on the red side but let's try it out and see how it actually works I have a little battery beside me and let's see if everything works so positive on the positive negative on the negative I guess and voila Wow Thomas fitted customs I tell you it looks really really good as you can see I have a little uh, I have a little amber in the USB connection for charging and then the RGBs and my battery is really low. You can see it's 11.7 but I think that looks really really cool.
picked apart everything in the I guess the holder so as you can see now I'm gonna try to yeah there you can see so uh, 3d printer goes forth and back and lays layer of plastic so I'm gonna try to get the structure down and what I'm gonna use is a 3m 180 grid sandpaper I begin with 180 and move upwards and then I'm gonna have my block I guess sanding block and uh, I'm gonna sand away until it's uh, smooth and then move up into the finer grid on the same paper. And then of course I'm gonna use plastic primer as I always recommend you. But let's sand this down, put some plastic primer and hopefully we can uh, do some primer today. So, sand it all down with the 320 and that's enough for a primer. Then we're gonna take uh, some wax and grease remover of course. Always a big tip, you should always use wax and grease remover. Let that dry and then we're gonna add the plastic primer. gonna make these radiuses a little bit more smoother and then I'm gonna put some more primer on it and I'm gonna actually think it's ready to uh, put paint on it I think I'm gonna try to mask the inside of this because I don't think the gauges will fit otherwise that's another thing you have to put in consideration whilst painting these plastic panels is that you want don't want to you don't want to build up too much uh, material on the sides so the gauges will fit but let's uh, block this down. I'm gonna do it with 320 red, then go into the paint booth again, put some primer on. Of course, you can do this with a spray can, it's not that big of a deal. And um, yeah, let's go. Can see that I've almost got everything out, and that's not gonna be you're not gonna be able to see that through the paint and through all the layers of clear coat that I'm gonna have. So I'm going to switch over to a soft uh, sanding paper and I have these from Mirka. So I'm going to start off, I had a 320, I'm going to go up to a 600 now, finish off for paint and that will be enough. So soft sandpaper, clean all the edges so that they're nice and smooth and then prep it for paint. Doing the magic trick on YouTube, so I already painted this. But just for your enjoyment, I'm gonna put in some clips from my phone that I filmed in the paint booth coming here. Hope you enjoyed it, but uh, time to, I guess, mount everything back together so now in the car and we're gonna get this panel out and of course we're gonna change out this uh, ashtray or the let's take it out mount it and uh, get some better light <laughs> 